What is up guys and welcome to Gaming with Swift. This is a quick video that shows you guys how awesome the character customization is in Soul Calibur 5. If you didn't notice in the beginning, you can have up to 50 created characters at once. That is amazing. You can also choose to create an original character or edit the costumes of the regular characters in the game. Also, as you just saw, you can adjust height of each character and size, which is also pretty freaking amazing. Now we are going to step into the body customization of the game here. As you can see, you have a variety of different hairstyles to choose from. That one looks pretty cool, but I'm actually going to go with the braided style because I think it's pretty freaking awesome. But I want to show you this too. Just look how beautiful she is. I mean, wow. I wish I knew that girl for show. We'd be eating dinner at Red Lobster, bitch. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and decide on a hairstyle here pretty shortly. That to me reminds me of Seung Mina, so I'm going to roll with that go with some eyebrows here that I think are pretty good. Luckily, uh, you can see the eyebrows actually change on the fly. That's the only complaint I have with uh, the character customization is most of the equipment that you put on, you actually have to click the button and wait for it to load the new gear. Here we're selecting voices, which is nothing new in the customization world, but still a pretty good feature to have. Are you ready? Care to dance with me? Let's get this over. Care are you? Let's get this. So you want to fight? Will you fight? So you want to fight? As you see here, you can also change the pitch, tone, and even the manifestation level of your character's voice. And as you hear here, the manifestation level is kind of like an echo or something. But overall, it still adds to the presence of your character and the uniqueness. Here you can select a set of preset faces, which is also another pretty neat feature. However, you don't have a ton of options available, which is something I want to stress to you guys. I haven't unlocked anything at this point in the game. However, you can unlock a wide variety of new gear and customization features for your character as you play through the game's various modes. Now that our girl's body is rocking and her face is jocking, we're gonna hit equipment parts and try to work that out a little bit here. So we're gonna start with the head and check it out. I got a pretty neat little cat helmet that I think looks pretty good on her. So I'm gonna roll with this and now we're gonna move forward and check out sunglasses. However, I didn't really like what they had, so I went ahead and went straight down to uh, clothing. And what we have here is like your undergarments and stuff like that, and I think that looks pretty freaking amazing. So now that we've got that, we're gonna head on to your outerwear, and uh, I think this goes well right here with the face mask. The next category is armor that goes on top of your outerwear, which um, unfortunately I didn't really find anything in here that really fit with the costume that my girl has on right now. I think I ended up going with uh, the thief's belt because I thought that was the best thing for her and I think it fits the best. And uh, the next area was um, pants, but all of the pants actually conflict with this outfit and replace it, so I had to skip that department. I had the same issue here with the belts. They all replace the gear I'm wearing now. Luckily, we can put a neck piece on, and I did find one that was pretty decent, so I went ahead and rolled with that. And the next area that we can work on here is uh, arm wear. And the game has some pretty awesome selections. However, I went simple and went ahead and just put on some simple hand wraps. The next area here is epic shoulder plates. And the game also has some pretty awesome selections for shoulder plates. I ended up going with the purple Shredder plates because I think they look awesome and obviously they remind me of Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. I love that mother flicker. Now here you see we're working on my girl's legs, putting a little bit of something something on here. I'm trying to find something with some weight to it. I think those look pretty decent so I'm going to go ahead and rock with those. And now here's something that's really awesome about the game. You can actually add accessories to your character and then you can completely move these accessories to any part of the body that you want and you can actually customize where you want them to be, the size, the color, the location, pretty much everything. As you see here, I moved it from her chest to, the, to her back. Now I'm moving the horizontal aspect of it so that it actually looks like it's on her back and not inside her shoulder. And uh, I'm going to keep working on this and as you see I've already uh, skipped ahead in the video and shows you pretty much the final resting spot for this bow. And it makes it so that it's not conflicting with her when she's in a standing fighting stance. See, as you can see, she's standing and the bow isn't going through her back, so it looks a lot more natural. So, congrats, Namco. This feature is awesome. The next thing I'm going to do here is just add another accessory, a little flower for personal effects. Something, you know, a little memento, just to show this girl might be a stone-cold killer, but she's at least got a heart. The 
The next step is to change your weapon style. You can actually choose any character in the game and use their weapons and fighting style. I initially went with this, but then I decided that this tacky fighting style looks a lot more appropriate for the character here. Another beautiful feature, which is typical of Soul Calibur games, is you can actually select the weapon that you want to use. So I went with the Kagakiri because I think it looks really cool, it's like a half a Psy. And another thing is you can even choose the custom effect when landing an attack, and I think the Outrageous pack looks like blood, so I'm going to pick that because my Mortal Kombat soul needs to be filled with anger and lust and pain and violence. Another excellent feature is that you can adjust the colors of every item that you have in order to make them appropriate to your character. So I'm going to quickly zoom through this and bam, my character is completely colored out, customized, everything is the way I want it to be, and voila, we can save the character and we're well on our way to transcending souls and swords in a tale of history eternally retold.